On this video, we're going to talk about the monetary system. Specifically, what assets are considered money, what are the functions of money, and the types of money. So, onto the functions of money. Money can be a medium of exchange, a unit of account, or store of value. As a medium of exchange, money is the item that buyers give sellers when they want to purchase goods and services. It works as a unit of account because it's the yardstick that people use to post prices and record debts. And lastly, it's a store of value because it allows the holder to transfer purchasing power from the present to the future. An example of the opposite is manna, the food that the Israelites ate in the desert. And it's the opposite of a good store of value because it goes bad overnight, so it couldn't transfer purchasing power to the next day. Lastly, there's two kinds of money. One, commodity money, and two, fiat money. Commodity money are assets with intrinsic value, so they have uses other than being money. Um, other kinds of assets that were used as money previously were gold, cattle, shells, or cigarettes. These also have value outside of being money, and that's why we classify them as commodities. Now, fiat money is not backed by any commodity, and their purpose is solely to serve as money. The source of their usefulness comes from the fact that people believe that they will be accepted as money in the future. That trust is usually transferred from the trust that people have on the government or institution that issues those notes. If everybody suddenly distrusted fiat money, it would become worthless, as it happened many times throughout history. Well, nearly worthless. It could be used for fuel or even as toilet paper substitute, of course, after some moistening. To dig deeper into the nature of and characteristics of money, what I'd like you to do is research cryptocurrency. Go and, with your favorite search engine, research cryptocurrencies, what they are, how they work, and how people use them. Then, in top hat, answer the following questions. 1. What category of money do cryptocurrency fall into? And 2. Do they function well as money? So, please make sure you write a paragraph or so and justify your position.